Outdoor Sportsman Group, Indiana is where we're at, ATA show exactly. We're in the Bowtech booth. They've got lots of new stuff every year. And what's new this year is really kind of a continuation mm -hmm. from last year when you guys kind of upended the world with some right. brand new technology. That was in target bows. Right, right. But it's made the evolution right. to your hunting bows this year. We're with Todd Snader of Bowtech, and Todd, tell, tell us about the evolution from target bows to hunting right, bows. Right, right. So it, it, it was in the early, early last year in, in uh, Jan, actually here at the ATA show, we debuted the Reckoning, which is kind of a crossover target bow, a little longer axle axle. But specifically, we de we debuted Deadlock Technology. Mm -hmm. It was a great system. In the past, we had the overdrive binary cam system, which really at that point was the superior cam system in the market, which allowed you to fine tune your cam lean and your string path by the use of the split harness. You have mm -hmm. to put it in a press, adjust it, and then you can micro tune your string position, which is great, but you have to put it in a press at that point. We wanted to make it even easier, so we came out with a deadlock cam. So really what the deadlock cam is, you can unlock the cam on the side with the deadlock tuning block. You unlock mm -hmm. it, and by an adjustment screw, you can actually shift that string back and forth and put the arrow, or put the energy directly behind the arrow. So you don't have to adjust the arrow rest. You don't, you don't. And, and, and we've all been accustomed over the years to adjust the arrow rest, but how do you mm -hmm. tune a bow? Realistically, if you think about that, you're only tuning the arrow rest exactly. to the bow at that point. You're not truly tuning the bow. With this system is you set it up, you square your arrow rest to the riser, then mm -hmm. at that point, you use the deadlock system. You unlock it and fine tune it with your bullet hole because what it's doing at that point is compensating for a little bit of a torque. So I may hold a bow a little bit different than you do. I can get a bullet hole, I, I can hand it to you and you may get a little, or a little bit of a tear. I can unlock that, just adjust that because at that point, as you turn it, I'm adjusting that path mm -hmm. directly through the center of the bow to you. With locking it down at that point, it does not move. Mm -hmm. There's no strings and cables to stretch, go out of time, go out of tune. So halfway through your season, you don't have to worry about that. You know, that's the last thing you need to worry about your bow going on to. No return trips back to the shop to have your bow returned. You can go season to season. Now, granted, we still want you to go into your bow shop and get it checked out for other things. You know, you can't mm -hmm. totally abandon your, your shop and you want your dealer to tune this for you. But something does happen on your trip. If you need to do, if you cut a string or something like that, you need to do a quick tune. You get your strings and cables on there. At your, obviously, you need a press for that. But you can do your quick tune with that and then lock it back down and you're good to go. You know, I, I'm the guy that engineers uh, don't like because sure. I can take the most simple things and make them right. complicated. Right. So can a, a guy like me that can make things that are easy complicated, mm -hmm. can he use this and get his bow tuned just right? You could, you could. As a consumer, you could definitely go out. Um, you know, again, we always want consumers to get, have their dealers set up because they're the most knowledgeable. We train those dealers on that. But, you know, realistically, you could do that as a consumer. You know, you could, you could set it up, put your arrow rest on there and do that. Um, but again, you know, we always want them to go into their dealers do that. But the great thing about it, if something does happen, you're in camp, you can set it up, you can do a makeshift paper tune, get your adjustment in and not have to worry about it at the point without a press. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing. You don't have to put it in the press. And you don't have, the big thing is you don't have to tear it apart. There's a lot of systems out there that you can adjust the string back and forth, but mm -hmm. you have to tear apart the bow, put shims in there, move back, you know, and then you have to take it back apart to maybe figure out the right shim. Shims are plastic. They do wear out where this is machined. It's on a worm drive. It mm -hmm. locks it down. It doesn't move. There's nothing to wear out in there at that point. So. Probably leads to the name. It does. It does. Deadlock. And we, we always say all you do is you tune it, you lock it, and you trust it. And you put something on the ground for the tax. There you go. There you go. So this is migrated from Target Archery. Uh, Bowtech it does. obviously has made some great Target bows into the hunting line. Is this mm -hmm. standard with all of your new models just, in 2020? Just the two, yep, the two flagships. So we have the Revolt, which is a little shorter, 30 inch axle to axle, mm -hmm. compact bow, something for tree stands, some little maybe ground blinds, a little bit, you know, if you need a little bit more maneuverability. But we also have the Revolt X, which is a 33 inch axle to axle, mm -hmm. a little more speed. So you've got a 330. 35 speed here you got a 340 so if you need that extra little punch out of distance maybe you're more of a western shooter you just need to reach out a little further not to say that this one doesn't because it's still 335 mm -hmm. and a little more stability because some people prefer a little longer axle to axle um, so you've got your 30 inch in the revolt and you have your 33 inch in the revolt x so we've got the deadlock uh, system mm -hmm. on two new revolts yep, two new revolts and we also have it on two target bows we have the reckoning which debuted last year and we also mm -hmm. have the reckoning 38 this year, 38 inch axle to axle with the deadlock technology on it as well. Well, we are in the city of speed, Indianapolis, over the Indy 500. 
and you guys have kind of married uh, in a perfect way accuracy and speed because exactly i'm not good enough to tell the difference really between <laughs> right. 335 and 340 pretty close in my book and i don't think the animal really cares a whole lot you guys have made great bows and great uh, great systems over the years and it looks like another one the revolt with deadlock where can people go to learn more about your products absolutely go to bowtecharchery.com and you can click any of our bows there we actually have a great banner right at the top if you want to go straight to the revolt page then you can also check out the revolt x there as well BowTechArchery.com. BowTechArchery.com. BowTech, of course, one of the big iconic bow makers uh, over the 24 year history of the archery trade show. They're at it again, and I'm sure they'll be here in year number 25 next year with even oh, more good stuff we're to ready. talk about. I'm sure you will. For Todd, I'm Lynn, straight and fast shooting, everybody.